everybody. Today I am doing an animation because half of the video files that I was editing with with the A6400 became corrupted in the editing process because of a bad hard drive. So instead I'm doing this fun animation and talking to you about my experience with the A6400. A couple days ago our Sony rep Barrett walked in and he had the Sony A6400 in hand. And they show all the salespeople the new camera, they get to try it, they get to have an opinion on it, and then the sales rep leaves. But I had to make a quick video about it. I quickly ran to the back and set up all the cameras and lights, and I started recording little bits about the camera, some B-roll, and I went outside and tested it too. The first thing that I wanted to do with the camera is flip up that screen, and I wanted to see if it was as intuitive as we all hope it is. It flipped up. I mean, Sony actually added a flip up screen that we can see ourselves when we edit ourselves are all the vanity people out here, like all the people that care about how they look on camera, like me. When I was taking a look around the camera, it looks very similar to the A6300 or the A6500. Basically, the biggest difference is that flip up screen which is amazing. Thank goodness they added that. It has a new format that gives you a little bit more wiggle room to manipulate the footage in the post process, which it's like a raw video file that you can color grade better because it takes in more information. A lot of people are looking forward to using that. And it also has the Sony A9 processor. It's going to be wicked fast. With my use with it, I, I didn't really notice much wait time or pending time or it didn't really load at all it just was very fast i ran around to the back of the norman camera and tried to get a couple of audio tests part of the thing that i wanted to test out is this and i also wanted to test out the tracking mode i know that the, the tracking was a big part about why the a6400 was a big thing but I, I want to test that out myself. I want to get outside for a couple moments at least, maybe run around and just try to lose it. And if I can lose it, then maybe the tracking isn't as good as everybody thought it was. I'm going to tap on myself, and then I'm going to head backwards. What I just hope is that I'm going to stay focused while everything else is. Okay. 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 I'm kind of in focus, but I feel like it's doing a facial traction when I come up. Um, the tracking with this camera is incredible. I did not lose focus at all. There were points where I had the focus point somewhere and I was not in frame or not on the focus point, but just in general, when it was tracking me, it did not lose me. And that's going to be really special for anybody that does do vlogs, anybody that's doing like sport videos or sport photography, because it was incredibly fast. I think that's going to be a big deal when it comes to which camera you're going to buy next, especially because this camera is only $898. That's crazy. Finding another camera within this price range with 4K video, an APS-C size sensor, a raw video format available, a flip-up screen, and just all the capabilities that the A6000 series has available, I there's nothing else that I can think of. Um, everything else just kind of does not compete with what this can do. This camera is just really exciting. I didn't get too much time to actually play with it, and I wish we can get one in soon enough so then I can make a full review on this camera and actually get to use it for a couple of photos and a couple of videos that I'll make. But right now that kind of seems like it's going to be a week or two before that would even be something that's possible. So right now my first impressions on the camera, it's good. Um, it's excellent. It does what they say it does and it does it extremely well. Until I can actually make a review on this camera right now, the A6400, if you're interested in buying it, is definitely a deal on the market and it's definitely worth its price. So I guess that's just how I'm going to leave this video. I don't really have too much more to say. Yeah, that's about all, guys. Um, if you haven't joined the Norman Camera family yet, just hit that subscribe button and, and look at that. You're here. Uh, that's awesome. Anyways... Have a good day, and I will see you in the next video. Oh, and let me know if you want to see more animations because this was just kind of a one-time thing due to the video corruption, but 
if you actually like this video, um, let me know. I might, I might make another. Thanks. Bye.